Hey guys, I'm in the Premier Palace Hotel here in Kiev. As you can see behind me there, there it is. It's very nice. I came here yesterday thinking that I'd be here a couple of nights on some bureaucratic business that I have. And unfortunately, a war has broken out in um, uh, here in uh, Kiev, in Ukraine. Okay, and for those of you who might not believe that I'm actually in Kiev, well, here I am out on the city, and I'm actually I was looking at this that I've always liked. It's, I think it's really like pretty nice. Anyway, um, this is Kiev, as you can see behind me. Uh, see, there's the uh, thing for the hotel, so you know where I am. Uh, it is. 10 past 10, excuse me, 10 past 11 in the morning on February 24th here in Kiev. And uh, as you can see, you see behind me, right there, that corner is Krishatik, which is a major avenue. I'm gonna walk down there to see if people are around, but it's extremely quiet, as you can see. There are some cars, you can see there, I mean, it's just a regular traffic. It's not that bad. I've seen uh, reports that the traffic jams on the highways leading out of Kiev are just a complete nightmare, a complete disaster. And I, for one, am not going to be leaving Kiev uh, by car, which is the only way, by the way. All the planes have been uh, shut down. All the airports are shut down. There is fighting at the airports, apparently, at Borispol here in Kiev. There's also at Kharkov, also at Chiguyev um, in eastern Ukraine, which is a big military installation. Uh, I understand that four airports were hit. Uh, Kiev, Chiguyev for sure, and potentially Kharkov and a fourth one, perhaps Dnipro, I don't know. But anyway, um, the war is happening. I've been in touch with my family that is in Kharkov. I'm as you can imagine, extremely worried, really, really worried for them. But in a practical sense, there's absolutely nothing I can do for them. And I know for a fact that they are in a safe location. Um, I've got photographic evidence that they're okay. So I'm not worried. Um, I wish I were with my kids. And that's the thing that worries me the most, that my kids, I wish I were with them right now. It's, it's just, I'm really scared for them. And I wish I were there to allay their fears. And that's the thing that I most regret. This this trip to Kiev that I took yesterday, I had to come because of a bureaucratic issue with my residency. But because of this trip, I'm stuck here. I don't know how long I'm gonna be here. I suspect it's gonna be for several weeks to tell you the truth. Uh, because I, I suspect that I, th this is speculation on my part, but I would not be surprised if there is a major, major invasion of uh, Russia, of Ukraine in the next 48 hours. Uh, I think that this is just a, a, a softening blow to uh, get Ukraine ready for a full out and total invasion of the country by Russia. So um, I think I'm gonna be here for a long time to tell the truth. And uh, I'm not happy about it, but that's the way life is, you know. Sometimes things happen and you don't anticipate them and they happen and that's life. So anyway, um, yeah. Uh, many people have uh, reached out and sent notes asking if I'm okay, I'm fine. Thank you very much for your concern. Um, but, uh, you know, there's nothing to be done except to wait out what will happen. And the people who are supposed to make the decisions in the West, there are fools and incompetence. And in Russia, they seem like very, very determined people. So we'll see how this all plays out. Okay.